A lot of people were watching the State of the Union last night. That made it a perfect time to put uncomfortable news into the media bloodstream. The perfect time if you're Hillary Clinton. Just a few minutes before President Trump started talking last night, Hillary Clinton published a lengthy note on her Facebook defending her intervention to protect advisor Bernd Strider after he was accused, credibly, of sexual harassment. It was, was 1,500 words long, and it was savaged online. Not a good reception, even from the left. Quote, Clinton botches her Me Too moment, said Vanity Fair. Washington Post writer Alyssa Rosenberg announced she, quote, was done with Hillary Clinton. Tammy Bruce is a New York radio host. She joins us to assess the state of Hillary Clinton in the Me Too moment. So, hey, Tammy, what did you, what'd you, nice to see you, what did you think of her explanation last night? Well, you know, it sounded to me like, look, she probably thought this was her State of the Union address to be delivering, and she broke into the Chardonnay cabinet, and the rest is history. I look, it was it was way too long. It was drunk rambling. Facebook again, huh? Uh, uh, you know, that's going on to Facebook, wanting to make it a little bit about her, realizing that she had been exposed for being the fraud that she is. And this is this is the irony about Hillary Clinton. Uh, when you, my favorite part of this thing, and she never really apologized for this, uh, for what she did, which was shielding this man and then disrupting the work life of the woman uh, who was the target. She wrote in part. I did this because I didn't think firing him was the best solution to the problem. He needed to be punished, change his behavior, and understand why his actions were wrong. I thought this could happen without him losing his job. Uh, Tucker, she's talking about her husband. This is the problem with Hillary yeah. Clinton, is that in order to be able to react to, to sexual harassment or, or a predatory situation pr appropriately these days, she would have to admit that everything she's done right. in the past has been wrong, and she can't do it. So Hillary, and I'm glad that some of these uh, women are realizing it, Hillary has been the last person they could rely on as really the, the icon for enablers. And now that is finally catching up to her. What's so interesting is I think most people would give Hillary a pass on her husband, as you do in complicated personal situations. She said, look, I'm not going to weigh in on any of this because it's just too weird for me. I have inconsistencies in my personal life. I'm not going to impose my views on you. But instead, she goes out there and starts lecturing everybody else in the most hypocritical way. Why does she do that? Well, well look, she, she did get involved, though, when it came to smearing the women during she her did. husband's problems. She did. That's right. Uh, and look, also, in the 2008 campaign and 16, uh, she presented herself as this uh, position of elect a woman because a woman will govern differently. A woman yeah. will not do these things that men do. And that has always been untrue. My position as a feminist is that women do everything men, ca men can do and that we need to be in more positions of power, but this is an issue of character. It's not an issue of gender. And right. maybe Hillary Clinton will do something that's good just by uh, her, her uh, history, which has proved to us that women are like men, that we have the same challenges, and that when we do have power, uh, we've got to keep a check on ourselves and make sure that we stay true to our principles. Hillary Clinton and has not done any of that. That's a really deep point and a smart one. Yeah, because we're all human. Thank exactly. you, Tammy. I appreciate Thanks, that. Thanks, Tucker.